stars. Across cultures, there is much meaning and stories attributed to the night sky. For the Aboriginal people of Australia, the first Australians, the stars hold the knowledge. Since the beginning of time, the skies have guided us and determined our seasonal activities across our six-season country. First Nation Australians are the original astronomers. Our people observed the stars, the position of the sun and moon. The dark clouds of our Milky Way manifest a huge emu in the sky. For the Wiradjuri people of New South Wales, the emu body is directly overhead in August. It's time to go collect emu eggs. The songs sung across the country are known as song lines, and the stories told cover vast lands. This depth of understanding ensured our survival, predictive harvest, travel, and hunting times. Song lines contain the wisdom of the country. It's our memory mapping, and the song line trade routes are as diverse as the landscape, waterways, and a mirror in the sky. The universal interconnectedness in Aboriginal culture reinforces our understanding that we are all interrelated to each other and the environment. While we all look up to the same constellations, there are many different stories from the north to the south and west to the east. Everything is written twice, on the ground and in the sky. As we read the land, we look to the sky and watch for the seasonal constellations. When we navigate, the stars guide us at night. Through the day, stone arrangements and carved markers remind us of the stars. The Pleiades star cluster, known across Australia as the Seven Sisters. There are many similarities across the different language groups of the Central Desert about this epic dreaming story. Further west and to the east, the story shifts, and in some areas, it's the age-old story about unrequited, forbidden love. The moral of the Seventh Sisters' story echoes across the country, reminding us all of the value of women and ensuring morality. Sky knowledge includes the practical and the spiritual. It is handed down from one generation to next through kinship systems, law, story, songs, ceremonies, rock art, carvings, and paintings. The Milky Way is seen as the rivers to the heavens by many groups. The young people of Northeast East land. When they pass away, they travel to the spirit world in the heavens. And along the Milky Way, you can see their campfires burning. The family witness a shooting star that tells them their loved one has arrived safely. For the seafaring Torres Strait Island people, knowledge of the stars guides these master mariners on epic journeys. The oldest living culture and their star stories can teach us all how the universe functions, from the ancient ceremonies to new technology. The wisdom past shows us solace and contentment and a peace with how small but vital we are with the role we play, reminding us each season to nurture and protect our lands. For
Milwaukee peoples in the east. The Milky Way is called Morongol, meaning river, the place where everything once was, until the universe was turned upside down. And now, Morongol is the Milky Way that mirrors places on Earth. No matter how far we see, we are still all under one sky, shaped by a distinctive environment with shared values. We are all now shaped by and share the stewardship and caring for the lands, sea and sky. Barani Biru Parabuari Moru Yesterday's stars, tomorrow's pie. Wow, this beehive is amazing! Wow. 